Welcome to Cyberpunk 2077. Amber here. This is the in-game tutorial for Quick Hacks. And Quick Hacks are abilities that are slotted into your cyber deck. Cyber decks unlock Netrunner abilities, like hacking, that allow the user to quick hack people and devices as well as breach into networks. Each cyber deck comes with a base set of pre-installed quick hacks, a limited number of slots for equipped quick hacks, and a certain amount of RAM which is required to execute them. Different cyber deck models can vary in terms of their slots and power. Higher quality decks are able to perform more advanced quick hacks. You can access your cyber deck in the inventory or cyberware screens through the main menu. Cyber deck RAM. RAM is a resource used when performing quick hacks. When you upload a quick hack to an enemy or device, it uses up a certain amount of RAM units. A quick hack's RAM cost can be altered in different ways, such as certain cyberware abilities, perks, and differences in level. Used RAM recovers outside of combat, and your maximum RAM can be increased with a higher intelligence attribute, certain cyberware abilities, and perks, as well as by equipping a higher quality cyber deck. So if you want to compare this to other games, you might think of your RAM as your mana. And just like you need mana or Magicka to cast a spell, you need enough available RAM to cast your quick hack. And there are different types of quick hacks targeting certain entities in the game. The first we'll cover here is device quick hacks. To upload a quick hack, activate your scanner with your left button, left bumper, aim at the device, such as a camera, and select a quick hack from the list using the up and down buttons on the D-pad, and then press X to execute it. Examples of device quick hacks, distract enemies. Distract causes a device to malfunction, resulting in erratic behavior that will distract nearby people. Remote deactivation. This hack manipulates basic device functions such as opening, closing doors, and activating, deactivating cameras. Camera control grants full remote control of the camera. Breach protocol breaches the target's ice system to make enemies in the area more vulnerable to quick hacks. Initiate overload overloads a device's electrical circuitry, permanently destroying it. Friendly mode overrides the target's recognition module, causing you to be perceived as an ally, an authorization holder. Turrets and cameras treat your enemies as their enemies and assist in combat whenever you are in combat or stealth. Assist mode forces a turret's targeting into manual mode. And finally, take control enables remote operation of turrets and computers. And there's a lot, but don't worry, you don't need to remember all the names because when you go to hack a device, it'll give you the quick hacks available for that device and you just need to select among them. So now the second type of hack in the game is anti-personnel hack. And these are against humans or robots as opposed to devices. Cyberdex has special slots reserved for anti-personnel quick hacks to use against your enemies and can be customized to suit your playstyle. Open your inventory and click on the cyberdex slot to change which quick hacks you've actively installed. To upload a quick hack into a target, you must have enough RAM available on your cyberdeck. To upload a quick hack, activate your scanner with the left bumper, aim at your target, and select a quick hack from the list and press X to execute it. New quick hacks can be purchased from vendors, found throughout the world, earned as rewards for completing various activities, sometimes collected after uploading the data mine daemon to network access points, and crafted if you have the necessary crafting spec. These quick hack crafting specs can also be purchased from vendors, found throughout the world, earned as rewards for completing various activities, and unlocked in the quick hacking skill tree. So I guess you can almost think of quick hacks like weapons in the sense that they can be found and looted throughout the game as well as crafted. And for the most part, quick hacking is optional in this game. If you are not into it and 
don't want to do it. You don't have to, just like you don't have to use stealth if you don't want to, but it definitely can be useful. And one of the most useful quick hacks, which we mentioned earlier in the device quick hacks, is breach protocol. Every cyber deck comes with breach protocol pre-installed, so you don't have to worry about crafting it or finding it. You have it when you start the game. And it gives the ability to penetrate networks and upload powerful programs called demons that infiltrate all connected enemies and devices. Every cyber deck also comes pre-installed with the ice pick demon. Uploading it successfully via breach protocol will decrease the RAM cost of all quick hacks used on enemies and devices connected to the network. New powerful demons can be unlocked in the breach protocol skill tree. Breach protocol cannot be initiated without a cyber deck equipped. And generally, when you do this breach protocol hack, you'll need to complete the breach protocol mini game. And the last topic in this tutorial section is access points. Access points are physical ports through which it is possible to access the local network. They can be found by exploring your surroundings or by performing the ping quick hack on a device or person connected to the same network. Successfully uploading a data mine daemon into an access point using the breach protocol will grant you money, quick hack crafting components, or sometimes even an entirely new quick hack. So this can be a pretty good way to farm eddies, which is the in-game currency, or other loot is by every time you see an access point, use the breach protocol. And that completes the tutorial on quick hacking. The next tutorial in my series will cover your character. So stay tuned for that. This is Amber. Subscribe to my channel for more guides and gameplay for Cyberpunk 2077.